Hello race fans, Lazy Man Racing here with another NASCAR Heat 4 custom livery. Today's livery will be Joe Hart Jr.'s debut car in the Xfinity series, which back in them days was, oh, it was probably na the National Series, Bush, or I can't, it's honestly, there's been so many sponsors that one. But anyway, this is going to be his 1996 debut car, which got him into that, what is now the Xfinity series. Once again, this for Matt Cannon and in celebration of Joe Hart Jr.'s fantastic Hall of Fame achievement, we're going to be trying to do some Xfinity cars. So join us, subscribe, keep up to date with our fan, my fantastic liveries here on NASCAR Heat 4, and let's crack on with making this fantastic livery. So hello all race fans, this Man Racing here with another NASCAR Heat 4 video, and Matt Cannon came up with a really good list, and to be honest, it's perfect timing. And it's Dell Jr.'s career in the Xfinity series, and... As he's just been inducted into the Hall of Fame, which is a huge, huge achievement. And, you know, a massive well done to him for that, honestly. With this list of the Ease Xfinity Series cars, I feel it's going to be a really good one to do. And we're going to try and plod along and do as many as we can in celebration of that. And for all the many Dell Jr. fans out there who watch this wonderful YouTube channel. So, thanks Matt Cannon for this again and... Yeah, looking forward to this one. So first of all, we're going to need the uh, sh the Xfinity Series car, and we're going to need the uh, Chevrolet Camaro. And this is going to be his 1996 car from when he first started. And yeah, I wasn't around it. I would have just probably been born. So, <laughs> so first of all, we need this exact paint scheme so obviously you can see it on the reference picture in the bottom left of your screen is it's red at the bottom back on the top and it's kind of like a stripe around and I feel that's going, probably going to be the best one I can't seem to see anything that may change my mind at all uh, definitely not really um, so what we're going to do I fit no definitely not we we'll go to the far left and we'll count across and we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, across so it's a tenth one from the left you'll be able to see it if you try and replicate this it's, it's that's the paint scheme we're choosing and what we're going to do we're going to go, and go for the stop black the stop black is just it works so well it's glossy and I, this car does look like it's got a nice bit of gloss on for stripe one we are going to have it the stock red and the reason for that is obviously it's red but now we need to get rid of this orange stripe. Now, there is a small white line on there. And I will have it white. Here's what it looks like without it. And it just doesn't look right. So we're going to have that white line there. And we're going to keep that. And it's authenticity wise, it's there and we're using it. So he actually, when he entered the Xfinity series, he actually had the number 31. So that's what we're going to choose. And I feel 31B will be the best choice for its boldness and... Oh, actually, 31A looks good. So it's one or the other, basically. I film. I think 31A may be better this time. So I think that's what we're going to choose. So 31A, and that's because of the angle and just because it looks as near as you can get to it. Obviously, we've got the choice of three, and one of them's terrible, and the other two look pretty decent. Um, what we do, we go to the stock red, and you can see that it, it kind of merges a bit with the um, other red we have on the car. So if you want to make it a bit more visible, go to the customs and go for a bit lighter. I feel this one works well. And that's going to be 3, 6, 3, 6, about 8 from the bottom, basically. So you got that, or you got ah, got that or that, basically. And I feel I'm going to do it one tad lighter. And yeah, as for the wheels, we go for the yellow ringed ones, which are the second from the left. And now we can have a look at the sponsorship side. He's sponsored being Mom's Pops. Mom Pops. I don't know what they are. If you know what it is in the comments, please tell me. I don't know. I'm English. We don't have the, some of the sponsors. We don't have some of the products that are sponsored in NASCAR. So, so right. Now we need a big red square with white writing. And what have we got with big red? That is big red and we've got white writing in. We also have Reem. And I think 
Hmm. I don't know what we what is not is this difficult? Is nothing is accurately like it? I think maybe Ream may be the best choice. Um we want it red, we want it white, and those are the two real requirements for the sponsor and I feel Hunt Brothers is a good choice and Ream's a good choice. Um what looks better? I may go with Hunt Brothers Pizza for this one. Uh, obviously you've got the choice of two, go with what you prefer, you've seen both, there's that one, and there's that one, and I feel just the square seems to look better and work better, in my opinion, I'm still fighting up between, I still am a bit like, I'm going for Hunt Brothers, go with whatever you choose, if you totally disagree with this choice, tell me, I don't mind, I can take a bit, I can take the offence. Um, so what we do for this side sponsor, we're not going to have anything. There is no sponsor there, so there's no point in putting anything there. For the side, we have got, on the rear quarter, Del Earnhardt Jr. Squiggle. Uh, Del Earnhardt Squiggle with uh, Chevrolet Newton NC. We're going to put Bond. <laughs> the good thing about this, you have the uh, sponsor is two lines. We got the bomb, and we got the pro agriculture just below it, and that matches the Chevrolet uh, Newton NC bar. On here, we have got a sponsor. I don't can't quite see it, but it's GM. It's GM. It's a blue square with white writing. So, have we got something that like that? I believe we have. Uh, where was it? We have got something like that. There you go, Miller. It's a blue circle with writing. So I thought that may be a good choice. Um, in terms of that, you could go for something like Credit One, Addy Giant, or Sirius. Sirius be right. I feel my gut instinct says go on for Miller, and you can see it there because obviously the white uh, outline across the Miller welders. Now for here, we can have there's a wee care and snap on, so we can have some white writing to match that. Or we can have a circle sort of sponsor. And I feel maybe it'd be easier to go with the whole um, snap-on situation there. So I think that's what we're going to go for. So white writing. There isn't really anything round that we could probably use. So we're going to go for Procore. And the reason I'm going for Procore, it's just one line of text. not No two lines, it's... Just simple as that. So there we go. That's me replicating Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 1996 car for the Xfinity Series. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join join us out on track to see what this fantastic movie looks like. Uh, Michigan throwing, oh, throwing it back to 1996, where people don't throw their microphones onto the floor. This is where Dale Earnhardt Jr. got his top ten. Most of the other tracks that he debuted on are no longer around or not being used in the cup set in the current NASCAR format like Nazareth and um, Myrtle Beach, which he obviously likes those tracks. He's mentioned it numerous times. But this is where he came seventh place in his debut year, and that's pretty impressive. So, what do we think of the livery? And this is why you're here, of course, is... And yeah, the livery's actually pretty dang accurate. I'm really impressed by it. It looks pretty good, to be honest. It's a simple livery. It's uh, the black and red looks really cool. The white line was needed, to be honest, to separate the two colours. And yet, obviously, there's going to be refinements I wish we could have if we ever got a better paint booth in the uh, NASCAR Heat Series. But, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm very happy with that livery. So... I hope you guys enjoyed today's NASCAR Heat 4 video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe and hit the bell notification. Keep up to date with all the fantastic deliveries that will be coming your way every single day. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. But once again, thanks Matt Kennedy for the list again. And join us for another NASCAR Heat 4 custom delivery soon. So until the next video, I'll see you soon.